please welcome up Bobby Bird. What? You guys are awesome. Already, huh? We having fun? Yeah. <laughs> that was the most not fun I'm having fun I think I've ever heard. Are we having fun? Everybody's like, yeah, you're like, all right. I suppose. Looking nice. I'm cute. Like a Furby. Like, you don't know if I'm really cute or kind of creepy. But either way, I'm fun for a couple of minutes and you hide me from your kids. Oh. Furby, that was a cool fad, right? Way back when, those creepy little fuckers. There's so many cool fads. Like, we're trying to bring a whole bunch of crap back. Like Justin Timberlake wanted to bring sexy back, right? Bell bottoms, they're trying to make a comeback. You know, bell bottoms, right? Tight ass, loose legs. That's how babies are made. <laughs> but, the, but there's so many, <laughs> it's true. I read it in a book once. Right. Anyway. <laughs> But there's so many cool fads like trying to trying to make a comeback. Like I want to go to a different era though, and like bring stuff back. Like the dinosaurs. Let's bring them back. That'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be fun. You could like have dinosaur rides, like dinosaur amuse park, dinosaur amusement parks. You try and say it, dinosaur amusement parks. <laughs> it's hard to say. Oh, you could like catch one and like milk it. That's where people get angry with me though. They're like, no, Bobby, you can't milk a dinosaur. Oh, you can only milk mammals. Dinosaurs are reptiles. How do you know you can't milk a dinosaur? Were you there? Really? Like, don't crush my hopes and dreams because I want to see a T Rex with an udder. You're just picturing it, too, aren't you? Like a T-Rex with a fucking... Utter. <laughs> I like the names of dinosaurs. Those are fun. It sounds like diseases you got. Or like just crap that shouldn't be in the sentences. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh, like my stegosaurus is acting up again. Got a case of bronchiositis. <laughs> Come play with my pterodactyl. <laughs> All right, that one's kind of fun. That one's kind of fun. Uh, it's one of those days where you just want a ukulele and a piccolo. That's just a random moment that we just had. I don't know why I looked at you when I, like, <laughs> like I don't know. D but seriously, it's dirty, though. You could make a ukulele and a piccolo dirty. Like, you could be like, let me play with your ukulele while you play with my piccolo. We'll make sweet, beautiful music. I, again, I don't know why I looked at you when I said that. I'm trying to make you have more fun than when we started. So maybe we'll go play with our piccolos or something. Uh, just, once the, just once when I mention that I want to bring dinosaurs back, I'm waiting for someone to go, hell yes, that was a great show. I like when I get on stage, you all get like slower. <laughs> Which is good, it's good. I'm not, I'm not dogging it, like I'm really, like I'm not remedial, I'm slow. Like. <laughs> Until I found out remedial means slow, which would make the opposite of remedial, uh, erectile dysfunction. That joke was a little premature, I'm kidding. Here's something I like. I don't know. I, you, I know you don't really care what I like, but I'm going to tell you. Fish tanks. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Fish tanks are awesome. Because you look at you, like, if you look at a fish tank, like, there's all different kinds of fish, for one. 
Uh, you can put snails in there. Like it, there, it's not segregated. Is what? Like if you look at a fish tank, it looks like a mini ocean. Like if you were in an ocean, it would look like a big fish tank. Is what I'm saying. Like they'd have the same kind of stuff. Like well, maybe not. Well, maybe they might have like a little gone fishing sign in the bottom of the ocean. I don't know. But they're not segregated. Like, they don't do that with other stuff. Like, you go to a zoo, it's all segregated. Like, you go and you see the giraffes, or you go and you see the dinosaurs, because we brought them back, remember? Yeah. Or, like, the tigers or whatever. Like, make it like a fish tank. Just put all the, put the tigers, the lions, and the bears all in the same cage. They'll get along. All, I've seen the Jungle Book. They'll be fine. <laughs> People get mad at that, too. They're like, no, Bobby. We go to the zoo to see giraffes. Like, we don't go to the zoo to see jungles. We go to see segregation. I'm like, awesome. So it's like when I go to the ghetto to see crime. <laughs> That's fun, right? Oh, you guys are so much fun. Uh, as you mentioned, I am, I'm doing a charity event uh, at, the, at the bus stop. Oh, it's fun. Uh, I, I, I work there. I, I, I DJ there. And people are like, Bobby, why are you trying to make it big in comedy, dude? Like, you've already made it big. You get to hang out at a bar, listen to music, hang out with naked women. Yeah, but dude, hanging out with one woman sucks. Try hanging out with 25. <laughs> get them drunk. Hand them a dollar on me time of the month. Let's see how great it is. That's fun. Oh, uh, they're like Bob, but Bobby. You get laid all the time. I can't even get some of these girls to the stage on time. There's some things I don't want to be late. Period. Um, one of the things I don't want to be late. It's not like we got the best and the brightest work in there. I had one girl light the microwave on fire twice in one week. Yeah, that's who I want in charge of my orgasm. <laughs> Baby, won't you start my fire? <laughs> it's fun, though. I like, I like going there because I like going to bars. I love, I love drinking. Who loves drinking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where are my stoners at, though? Who likes the... the Awesome. You know, if there was Stoner Olympics, stargazing would be like a highlight event. I'm just saying. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Uh, Michael Phelps would be swimming and stargazing. That's what he is. No, but I, lo I love drinking because I, I love going to the bars. And guys, this is our thing. Like, when we go to the bars, we survey, right? We survey who we want to go home with and then who we're probably going to go home with. Because like, of the beer goggles and stuff. I mean, it doesn't happen to me. Like, I go, I, no, it doesn't. I go to a bar, I see an ugly chick. A couple hours later, I've been drinking. She's still ugly. I'm just Brad Pitt and want to make her my Angelina. <laughs> right? Because the differences between drunk and sober people, like, you always have, oh, you have to have that one moment, too, like when you're drinking, just so you can have a story to tell your friends the next morning. They're like, dude. There I was, naked, handcuffed to a goat. My friend screaming, dude, do it one more time. You wake up the next morning like, fuck, what did we do? What did we drink? Look over at the beast you brought home. Because trust me, by now it's a beast. Like, fuck. Does this mean I'm gay now? <laughs> I'm not. But if I was, it'd be cool. Apparently. I don't know. It, like, touched my nose. It did. And then I fucked a watermelon. <laughs> like you've never done it. 
It was seedless. It was. But I fixed that. Well, because you know, to make a seedless watermelon seeded. <laughs> you're like, dude, why didn't you pick a different fruit? Elton John wasn't there. And if it was cantaloupe, I would have got listeria. <laughs> you're my favorite, by the way. <laughs> For that, like, just, oh my God. Hell yeah. Like, if I had a soundbite of this whole show, you would be my soundbite. Like, how did Bobby's set go? <laughs> See what I'm talking about? You guys have been a lot of fun. I'm Bobby Bird. Be happy laughing. <laughs>